Yeah. So I'm ready. Mm. All I can say is I'm ready. What's that given? And they talk about immunity. Yes, they can take away the immunity, mm. but I'll be able to answer to whatever charges. So I'm yeah. ready. Mm. In responding to former President Ed Galungu's sentiments to have his immunity removed, if law enforcement agencies want to investigate him, the National Democratic Congress Party says the alliance will not be silenced by those seeking political mileage in the name of freedom of expression. If we can endanger them all because ruthless, like the former president, by now, without even a minute, Eddie Gachangwalugu should have been in Mkobeko or somewhere. But I want to mention, to say, what is the power is not UPND, it's UPND alliance. So if the UPND may be silenced sometimes, they should expect NDC to react. As the NDC, the nonsense we have been saying, which has been happening from time to time, taking advantage. But the president has said that no capitalism. That was a request the president made on us. It was not an order. Mr. Wamnima also says the NDC is eager to mobilize itself in order to defend President Haga in the Hichilema. Also the former head of state. If he feels it's too popular enough, to go for rematch with our number one popular candidate in 2026. We are ready for him. No one has forced him or compelled to retire. He retired voluntarily without any intervention from UPND or from NDC or from the LAS. Meanwhile, Shuangandu Member of Parliament Stephen Kampiongo says the new Don administration must respect the former president as he can still give an opinion on matters of national importance. Recently, former head of state Edgar Lungu said he is ready to have his immunity removed and first the law enforcement agencies as he is aware that interrogations on his close associates are targeted at him. The Drug Enforcement Commission has summoned former First Lady Esther Lungu for interrogations on the acquisition of 15 flats located in State Lodge. Former heads of state's daughter Tasila Lungu and son Daliso Lungu are also facing the law enforcement agencies on some properties reasonably suspected to be proceeds of crime. Joan Savila, Damo News.